You know what, everybody? I'm not even going to lie. I really do enjoy looking at affordable microphone kits like this one here from our friends over at Fine Fine. Like, yeah, sure, I might have an SM7B that I use on a daily basis, but one, I bought this thing years ago. But whenever it comes to recommending a new microphone for, you know, streamers, especially if they're just starting out or making YouTube videos like this here, there is no way in heck I would ever recommend anyone go out and spend this kind of money on, on a microphone ever. And again, especially if they're just starting out, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, sure, maybe if you were like, you know, recording records, making music, all that kind of stuff, then yeah, sure, a huge investment like an SM7B or some other kind of studio mic wouldn't make a lot of sense. But for videos like this here, streaming on Twitch or Kick or even here on YouTube, you, you don't really need something that expensive. Something like this here will get the job done just fine. And hey everybody, look, just want to make it abundantly clear before we move forward here with the review that this microphone was provided to me by my friends over at Fine Fine. They were kind enough to send it over to me for the review for this video. But you know what? I want to just make it abundantly clear that they did not pay me for the review and they are not seeing this video before it goes live. So therefore, all the opinions about this microphone are my own, okay? Let's get to it. And what is this you might be asking? Well, folks, this is the Fine Fine AM8. T. Try saying that 10 times fast, y'all, I swear. Now for this review, I'm gonna use this microphone via USB, but there is an option as well to hook this up via XLR. So if you already have your favorite audio interface out there, you can just plug this right into it and it'll work just fine. And if you do happen to use this with, with an XLR interface, like a Go XLR or something similar to it, this doesn't need a lot of gain, so you don't gotta worry about cranking up the preamps too high. Now as far as what is on the microphone physically, well, you have a physical mute button, which is always nice. And around back, it also has a button here for the RGB. And folks, it's, it's not going to really come through on camera the way I would like it to, but the diffusion effect they have around here at the base of this thing, it looks really, really nice. It also has a microphone gain knob. And since you can monitor yourself in real time with this thing, which is an awesome feature, by the way, it also has a headphone value knob as well. So as far as what comes in the box, you get the microphone itself, a USB cable, and also this mic arm as well. And for the record here too, everybody, this is how the microphone sounds directly out of box, straight into OBS Studio. There are no filters or anything on here. I have the gain on the microphone itself cranked up to 100% and also the gain inside of Windows is cranked up to 100% and even so I'm only peaking at around negative I would say around negative eight or so inside of OBS Studio so it's a very manageable mic whenever it comes to how hot the signal is. All right, so you've heard this thing raw right out of the box but how would it sound with just some basic filters inside of OBS Studio? What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a really quick and dirty three band equalizer. I'm going to add some compression and I'm also going to throw some noise suppression on here as well to give you guys a sense of what this thing could sound like if you put a little time into it. All right, everybody. Now, look, this is the fun part here. OK, this is by no means an actual comparison of these two microphones because we all know that the SM7B is a legend in its own right. OK, but what I want to prove to you all is that you do not need to go out and spend this kind of money for an SM7B whenever you can get some something just like this fine fine mic or something similar to it for way less money. It comes as a full kit and with a little bit of EQ, it can sound pretty darn good. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. And uh, let's talk about some microphones today, shall we? Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. And uh, let's talk about some microphones today, shall we? But again, though, everybody, this has been the Fine Fine AM8T. Thank you so much, Fine Fine, for sending me the microphone to test it out for you guys and gals. I really appreciate y'all giving me this opportunity. Do I recommend it? Overall, I do, yes. The only downside I can really say about it is that I wish this included mic arm was maybe a little bit taller to maybe get it a little bit further away, maybe up a little bit higher, like out of frame a little bit more. But I mean, it's included with the kit and you can always buy one of these here separately if you want to as well. But as far as the microphone quality itself goes, I think raw, it does sound really good. And as you can hear right now with a little bit of EQ, just a quick and dirty EQ, some compression, some noise suppression as well. It can hang with the best of them, in my opinion. But as per usual, everybody, again, my name is Terry. Thanks a lot for coming by, and I'll catch you guys and gals next time.